earliest memory. I think it is my dad picking me up for Sunday training. He had like a old Saab and it had like cold leather seats. And I remember just every Sunday morning having to get in the car, freezing cold in the cold leather seats. And I think that's my earliest memory of rugby. Him dragging me out of my bed on Sunday mornings, but it all paid off and I thank him for it now. But back then when I was six, he was dragging me out of my bed. It was quite tough. <laughs> Uh, my last year of school, that's when I sort of started getting into the age grade stuff with Scotland. So we played Scotland 19s. From there, I, I got into the Leicester Tigers Academy. And then when I got into like that sort of academy system, uh, where it obviously it's a bit more of a professional vibe, that's when I sort of first started thinking that maybe I could do this as a, do this as a career. And then after that, I got into Scotland 20s and got offered um, a contract up in Edinburgh. Obviously, it wasn't wasn't the best first test. We lost at Murrayfield to Italy, which was a, a real tough loss to take. And obviously, a few of the more experienced guys were obviously pretty devastated. It's a big thing. Whenever you put on a Scotland jersey and to lose to Italy at home was really disappointing. But for me, it had really mixed emotions at the time. It was, it was great to get my first cap and still probably my, one of my proudest moments, even though we lost and I got a yellow card. But it was an amazing feeling. It was my first like proper Southern Hemisphere tour, so it was an, it was an amazing experience. It's really good to have a three-week block, four-week block where you're actually away just with the squad. You know, you, you learn a lot about the team and you build stronger relationships and stuff like that on tour. And yeah, we had three very tough games. Uh, managed to win two of them and obviously fell down a bit in the last hurdle against Fiji, which was a very tough game away in Fiji. It's always it's always pretty tough, but that Australia victory was a was a massive high for the whole squad. So there was a support line, I just sort of had a two metre, two metre walk in, but um, I suppose you've got to be there. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a great try, but it was, the feeling afterwards was amazing. And uh, to, to help the boys win the game was, um, yeah, it was a great feeling. I mean, it's been coming for a while now, obviously. Verm was here for a few years and did really well. Built, built up a really good squad. I think the depth of our squad's grown massively. And then he passed on a very good squad and you know strategies in place to Gregor, who's built on that as well. And he's brought his own twist on what Vern had and um, managed to hopefully make that better as well. And obviously we'll find out more going into the autumns. But I think it is over time we've maybe struggled with depth in the squad. And if we got a few injuries to our to our front line players, then we'd be in trouble a bit. But. At the moment, the, the Scotland squad's got a lot of depth. If we get injuries to a few, to a few players, we've got boys who can step up and fill the, fill the place without, without really noticing. I think what makes it special, you've got, you got sort of three home games on the bounce, which, you, which you'd, never, you'd never normally get apart from the autumns. You know, normally you're at least home for one and away, or maybe you get two on the bounce. To have them all at Murrayfield is, is going to be great, and it's going to be, it's going to be an amazing experience. So just hopefully I can be involved. I mean, obviously, I've never played against New Zealand. I've played against them in the sevens. Haven't played against them in the 15 set before. So if I get that chance, yeah, I'll, I'll really be looking forward to it. Obviously, they're the best team in the world, so it's, it's going to be great for us to test our skills and um, have a proper good crack at them, because, uh, you know, we're, we're definitely a team who can beat those top nations now. My sort of main goal, obviously, you've got to focus on your club stuff. You've got to be playing well for Edinburgh to get selected for Scotland. So try and keep playing well for Edinburgh, try and uh, cement that seven jersey at Edinburgh, and then Hopefully that leads into the international games and uh, if I get a shot over the autumns, just try and nail down that seven jersey and my main goal is just to keep playing for Scotland and hopefully keep playing. <laughs>